first thing that we want to do is go into Easy File Manager. So we'll click on that and go right into Easy File Manager. Okay, this is a really powerful program, but simple, that allows you to see what you've actually got on the servers for your website. Uh, you can see that there's one file here. This is pretty much empty, but there's a file here called index.html. Now, whenever you start building your website, the main page on your website is always index.html, or always called index. And whether you have a domain name or whatever you do that access this count, it always goes to the index page first. So you need to remember that and always have an in index page. That's where everything starts. That's your very first page. Now, one of the things that I like to do to keep things organized on my website a little bit so I don't have so many files to sort through once the sites start getting bigger is I like to divide things up into subdirectories. And so the first thing that I always do is create myself uh, a, a directory or several directories to store things in. With Easy File Manager to create a directory, all I have to do is go up here and click on Create a Folder. So I will now do that. And it comes up and it asks me for the name of the directory or folder that I want to create. And I'm going to create one to put my graphics in. So I'll think of a really tough name like graphics. I spelled it right, OK. And I push the Create button, and it'll take us back. And now you'll notice that I have a folder here called Graphics. So that's where I'm going to put all the images. So I will click on that, and it will take us in there. And you can see I don't have anything in there at all. And so now what we want to do is we want to upload or, or we want to take off of our local computer and put onto the server that picture of Christopher, my little boy, that we just edited, plus some other pictures that, I, that I've edited before now. So in order to do that, first I get into the directory that I want to place the images, and then I come up here and I click on the Upload button. Okay, And what it does is it pops open a little window. The first thing I need to do is decide you know, roughly how many I want to to download. And with this, there, there are basically three different ways that you can upload images to the server. Um, and this, this way will allow you to upload 20 images at a time. Um, we have another one that's a, a software package that actually downloads onto your computer, and it will allow you to upload larger numbers of pictures uh, right off of your computer and upload them onto the pictures, up onto the server. Uh, so then this one's kind of in the middle. You can upload that 20 pictures. And uh, then we have another one that's sort of the, uh, we'll, we'll show you as you go into Page Builder, you can actually upload files one at a time if you want to as you go. But I like to get my pictures all ready and then upload them in. So I'm just going to pick six pictures. I don't really have six, but it will give me six boxes here that I can, I can load pictures with. So click on the Browse button, and that takes me to my computer and shows me on my local computer here at my desk uh, the pictures that I have in my in that particular folder that we, we just edited. Okay, I've got one that's called Chart Down, so we'll pick that one. And I've got one that's called Chart Up, and we'll want to load that one. And then I've got Chris Dunn, which is the the finished one that we just edited, my little boy. And then we don't want to download the Chris Raw because that's the one that we started with uh, that we edited and made much smaller. So we want header. And then we want to get uh, road future. OK, so there I've got five that I want to upload. So now I've got those all there. I simply click on the Upload button. And the computer takes a couple of seconds to copy those off of my hard drive onto the server. You can see now that it successfully uploaded five files, tells you how much uh, data was actually transferred. And that took the computer system four seconds to transfer that to the system. So we are done uploading files. So I'll close that and wait for just one second. And you'll see now all of those files appear in the subdirectory there. Now let's, I want to bring to your attention a couple of things about this and how it works. File Manager has your, your bar of the actions that you want to take up here at the top. 
and then um, it gives you some capabilities to sort files and things like that. But then it shows you the actual files that are in this subdirectory. It gives you boxes that you can click on, like if you wanted to delete one, you just mark it and then click on it to delete it or rename it or whatever. It shows you what type it is. So you can see in this one, it's a little picture of, a, of an image. That, that icon represents image. It tells you the file size of it, what the last date it was. And then over here on the right-hand side is actions that you can take. And with JPEGs, the actions that we take, we can actually preview them to see what they look like. So if we come down here, I can click on Chris Dunn, which we just edited, and I can see um, what it looks like. Let me pull it over so you can see it. Okay, it just fired open the window. And there, there now we can preview it and see the picture that we just downloaded. So we know what that one looks like because we just edited it. One of these others, we may not know what it looks like. So let me click on that one and pull it over so you can you can see it there. So there's a preview of that one. So we can actually go through in any of the files we can preview on them. So the little magnifying glass on the page means preview as we do that. So OK. So now we've uploaded our pictures and we've used File Manager. Um, let's go back. If, if I click on this little file folder with an arrow, that'll take us back to the main directory in Easy File Manager. OK. Now you can see there's our graphics subdirectory. And um, we have this index file. I wanted to show you a couple of other little things over here. Whenever you have a, a, a file folder, you have the capability to lock that file folder. And you can see the little padlock up here. Okay, If I click on that padlock, it's going to open a dialog window that says, OK, do I want this folder to be password protected? And so if I wanted to, I can click on You Bet, make that password pr protected. And so I say Update it. And operation is successful. And now you will notice over here on the file manager that folder is now password protected. And there's um, up here in users, I could actually go in and say uh, set the passwords and the usernames that would be associated with this so that people could log into it. So if I wanted something on my website to be private and I only wanted people to view it who have my password and user ID, I would click on that and that would make that area of my website secure or locked down so only people with a password could access it. It would not be open to the public. In this particular case, I really don't want to do that. So I will just click on the padlock again, and it will open up that dialog box again, saying, uh, what do you want to do with it? And also, I'll turn password protection off. No, I don't want it password protected. And I'll update it. OK. And now. You can see the padlock will go open, so that's no longer locked. And so, you know, you may have areas on your website that you want only certain people to view, and so you can you can do that as well. Or if you want to work on a particular part of your website and don't want people into it yet, you can do that as well. Um, now, with our index folder, which is actually a web page, um, you can see it has a couple of other buttons there as well. The one button. Is the same as it was on the images. It's a preview button with the little magnifying glass and the, the page there. If I click on that, it will actually show me the web page. I can preview it. The one next to it is a little pencil on the page. And what that will do, that's a, a neat addition that, that makes uh, life much easier. But I can just click on that, and it will open that page right up in Easy Page Builder and allow me to edit it right, right there. And when I'm done with it, I save it. I exit Page Builder, and I'm right back to this page. And so I can. Uh, it's just a, another way to find the pages and, and manage them. And so uh, that, that's a handy little tool as well to jump around in there. So let's go out now and set up our global information. So let's go back to the construction tools. I think we've covered pretty much everything in the file manager. Let me just make sure. Uh, you can look at your file usage, how much space you've got left, upload files. We showed you that. Users, I explained setting up the users, the passwords for the protected pages. Creating folders we used. If I want to copy images from one place to another, I can do that or change the name, rename them. I can move uh, files in between folders. I can delete one if I want it to go away. If uh, the page isn't 
showing me everything. For some reason, I could push the refresh button, and that would uh, regenerate the page. Return will take me back to the menu, or help will get me to the help information. So um, very, very useful and powerful tool for, for managing your web.